Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Hopefully you can uh, get you some rest this weekend. Looks like the weather here in southern Ohio is going to be fantastic. So uh, uh, I'm in hopes to uh, go to a car show here in a while and look at some cars right there by our church and hopefully enjoy that time. Our Bible school ended last night. We had a great time. We had uh, 20, 21 kids every night, but uh, they enjoyed it and uh, they learned about Jesus. And at the end, my wife, who was the director, asked if there was anyone that wanted to say anything. A couple of those kids said, thank you for having Bible school and let's do it again next year. So uh, that was a success uh, for them. By the way, they liked the food as well. So, um, Somebody asked me to sing this song the other day. Uh, in a facility where I was at, asked me if I knew it. And uh, I looked it up. I had heard it, of course, for years. I'd heard uh, Hank Williams sing it. My dad sang it years ago. But um, when you look at um, the words, of course, some um, words over a period of time uh, seemingly change meanings or we change the meanings and use some even for a slang purposes or whatever but uh, the name of this song is tramp on the street and the first time that i mentioned this song to someone my age they they said what you wouldn't sing a song like that in church well it was a different time period of course uh meaning uh something totally different um uh, they were just kind of taken back by it but if you look at Everything that Jesus went through, he went through it for us. That's the whole purpose of me doing this devotion is not so I can say, oh, look at me, I can sing. I can sing and play the guitar only because God allows me to. I don't have to do it in front of anybody. I don't have to do it on here uh, every day. I don't have to do it at church. I don't have to do it at rest homes where I go. I enjoy doing it, but the main purpose for music, period, uh, my train of thought is to worship our Creator and to bring our minds back to focusing on Him. And um, I know I read um, a few days ago, but, but when I read the story of the crucifixion and I see the things that Jesus went through, it's, it seems inadequate sometimes for a song to express that. And, and sometimes um, I know uh, somebody said to me one time, well, a lot of the songs you sing are sad. Why, uh, the ones I write, they said, a lot of those songs that you write uh, seem sad. And, and I said, well, did you ever read the book of Psalms? David wasn't always writing happy <laughs> songs either. And those writers, but they were writing things that were from their heart. Um, Jesus did die for us. Everything that he went through was for us. It was for Hank Williams, who sang this song before. This gentleman the other day said, uh, when he asked me to sing it, he said, I'm from uh, Kentucky. And uh, he said, um, there's a little woman that used to uh, sing that song, Molly O'Day, he said, which he probably figured I was too young to remember her or know who she was, but I did. And I said, sure, I know who she is and know who she was and and um, had listened to her singing before on recordings. No matter who it is that records this song or sings it, he died for all of them. He died for you. He died for me. He was left as what some would say today as a homeless man that is left on the street he is he is there for us to receive if we will hear his call but many folks walk away without ever accepting and that's not anything that i could change or you could change we just continue to preach the word of God, do whatever it is that God has called you to do. And then when he begins to deal with people, 
their fate then is in the hands of a just God because if they turn him down after everything he went through for them, um, there is no other hope for salvation. This song, this copy of this song, I don't know, some people watching may know him. I don't know if you can read that. John R. Simon. John gave me this. Uh, me and Brad Harris would go in and sing, and, and I still go down um, to, um, to Market Street uh, down there and sing for the folks at, uh, at the uh, Senior Center, the adult daycare down there with Jamie. And um, John gave me this years ago. And so I'm going to sing it uh, the way it's written here. The other day I sang it the way that it was written on the Internet because I didn't really know the words. I'm going to sing it the way John has it here. Uh, I did get to see him the other day, and it was good to see him as well. Only a tramp was Lazarus I faith. He who lay down at the rich man's gate. He begged for the crumbs from the rich man to eat. He was only a tram found dead on the street. He was some mother's darling. He was some mother's son. Once he was fair and once he was young. Some mother she rocked him her darling to sleep but they left him to die like a tramp on the street jesus who died on calvary's tree he shed his life's blood for you and for they pierced his side, sir, his hands and his feet. And they left him to die like a tramp on the street. He was Mary's own darling. He was God's chosen son. Once he was fair and once he was young, Mary, she rocked him, her darling, to sleep. But they left him to die like a tramp on the street. If Jesus should come and knock on your door, for a place to come in or bread from your store would you welcome him in or turn him away then god would deny you on the great judgment day he was some mother's darling he was some mother's son. Once he was fair and once he was young. They pierced his sides, sir, his hands and his feet. Then they left him to die like a tramp on the street. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord, those that hear this, bring encouragement, bring strength to them, bring help to them, Lord, today, God. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. If you watch tomorrow, of course, you'll see uh, <laughs> me preaching and uh, Brother Chris preaching, uh, no doubt. And then I will be back here, Lord willing, on Monday morning. God bless. Have a great day.